Well hello again, welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with me Bill and this time we've got uh, something new and that's the contents of this little box here it's called the Tiny SA or Tiny Spectrum Analyzer and uh, as it says on the tin, or in this case the box um, it is indeed a very tiny spectrum analyzer now that's not something I've ever um, really had the chance to use before I understand what they are and what they do um, so this is a bit of a journey of discovery so this video is about about opening the box having a look what's there and just taking a little look at, at some of the um, top level features so let's get to it okay well here we are with the uh, town ESA in its uh, has to be said rather nice box it's probably not a box that you would want to keep it in uh, when you were using it but it's um, more akin to a presentation box but it's nice to get something so nicely presented so what do we get well um, apart from a very nice box we get the tiny SA itself which as you can see is exactly like it says on the tin very tiny and um, just put that up on my hand there and uh, there's a built-in rechargeable battery it's got two SMA sockets here with those yellow coverings on comes with this strap which I've already attached and this little device here which looks suspiciously like a plectrum is actually a, a device to help you uh, use the touch screen. Um, okay as well as the instrument and its strap there's two uh, SMA to SMA leads like that they look quite reasonable too. Uh, we've got this um, SMA connection and then a little telescopic antenna um, to allow you to sniff signals out and finally we've got here um, a female to female um, SMA adapter which uh, you do actually need to use when you're when you're calibrating this to connect the two um, two sockets together so uh, okay that's the contents of the box um, let's see what she does Okay, well here we are looking at the display of the Tiny SA and I've currently got a sweep set up from uh, 100 kilohertz to, to 5 megahertz uh, and I've got it uh, attached to my uh, 1970s uh, transistorized signal generator so I'm just going to connect the centre cable now and straight away you see a change in the display and you can see there marker 1 is about uh, 129 kilohertz something like that uh, that's the fundamental coming off the signal generator so if I adjust the generator you can see it there so if I go up to um, about 150 kilohertz something like that if it'll let me do that uh, just have to wait for the sweep to do its stuff okay that's about 150 kilohertz and as you can see if I back off the power level from the signal generator you can see as well as the fundamental there's a number of harmonics some of them quite powerful um, and about here probably a couple of megahertz in uh, the farther ones have now dropped away so I'm just going to change the um, N frequency to 2 megahertz there so you can see the harmonics a little bit better and then um, We'll go on to the uh, marker menu and we'll add marker, oh, yeah. Okay, so we've got three markers there um, and it will arbitrarily put them where I want them to. So I'll just move marker two to there and marker three to there. So as you can see, fundamentals about 150-ish kilohertz. Uh, marker one um, is well. Marker one is the fundamental. Uh, marker two um, is at well, sorry, yeah. Marker three is at 450 kilohertz. So you can see that's the third harmonic, second harmonic there. And if I turn the power up on the signal gen, you can see. A lot more harmonics appear in there now. In, indeed, there's harmonics uh, right up here as well. So, if we now drag marker three across to that harmonic there, uh, you can see that um, marker three is at um, 
about 1.8 for megahertz um, so there you've got the uh, display of the fundamental and the harmonics so it's obviously going to be a handy tool for checking out um, uh, transmitters and uh, etc this is say this is just the signal generator um, not too concerned about the harmonics in the signal generator in fact um, the top frequency range of this signal generator actually relies on harmonics the oscillator actually won't run at the top uh, the top frequency so let's now um, so that's uh, 2 megahertz there so let's now make that the end point about 800 kilohertz and have a look at um, this area in more detail so we'll go to frequency we'll go to the stop and we'll make that um, 800 K let the sweep do its job okay so there you are you can now see fundamental first harmonic second harmonic I'm going to turn the power up full so you can see them a little bit better and if I can just spot where the uh, there she is yeah okay so uh, fundamental there uh, which is the white there it's about 150 uh, kilohertz and it's um, so it's about minus 4 dBm. First, uh, second harmonic here is uh, about minus 24 and the third harmonic um, about minus 32. So if I begin to attenuate the signal you can see that very quickly the second harmonic starts to drop off but the third one's quite uh, still quite strong and yeah that's a uh, minimize the the fundamental as well let's just bring it back again there you go okay so let's let's have a look in some detail then at this area so first time on 153 kilohertz so we'll go back um, to the center and we'll make that 153k which should put the fundamental bang in the middle there she is and then let's make the span uh, let's make that 40 kilohertz wait for the display to catch up okay you start to see the shape of the um, the wave now so there's the uh, center of the wave and a few little side lobes um, let's reduce that that span to 20 kilohertz and so you can really start to see some of the detail now um, and there's obviously one or two side bands I'm just going to turn the internal uh, modulation on just to see what that does to the shape of the signal so that's without uh, the modulation on the signal generator and that's with it on and straight away very strange response that's because the signal is now rather wide because there's lots of sidebands so if we um, make the span 50k again hopefully you'll be able to see yeah there you go there's the, the, the shape of the wave and if I turn the modulator off uh, next display you go back to a much more sensible signal so that's essentially um, what spectrum analyzer is about we've got um, frequency along the x-axis and we've got um, power in uh, dbm or decibel microwatts along the uh, the y-axis uh, and the important thing to note about the y-axis is that unlike an oscilloscope that's a logarithmic scale um, as opposed to um, a straightforward linear scale which allows us to view some very different changes in uh, in dynamic range it's much greater than it would be on a scope so that's a little bit of a, a demo of the tiny SA uh, I've got a lot to learn about uh, spectrum analyzers um, but I'm enjoying getting to grips with this one uh, just take the span back to let's just try 20k so we can have a look at the detail of the waveform yet might be even maybe we can get away with 10k just have a, a little look at uh, there you go yep yeah. um, and you can see there's the main frequency and then you've got one or two sidebands there being being produced uh, by it um, this is the um, rapid electronics uh, signal generator the number of people made them including Maplin they're badged by a lot of people so first try out of the tiny SA and uh, I'm actually quite impressed um, it was um, not a lot of money um, nice fast delivery and actually it, it seems to do the job and certainly if I was going to be buying 
a spectrum analyzer in any other form than this it would be costing me uh, second hand at the very least hundreds of pounds um, possibly more than that and I simply couldn't justify that amount of expenditure so that does come with a a little uh, what looks a bit like a plectrum that you play the guitar with to use the tap screen I actually find it works better with uh, a bit of a stylus I'm actually using a trimming tool here the eagle eyed amongst you might have noticed that um, but this seems to work um, rather well actually um, so there we go that's the that's the Tony SA okay well that's it for a first look at the um, Tony SA spectrum analyzer and uh, hope it's um, uh, prove useful. I've got a lot to learn about this fairly complicated menu system a lot of things I need to get to grips with so I guess you're gonna see it appearing in a few videos over the next few weeks as I, as I get to grips with it and find out what it's capable of. Uh, I paid about £66 I think it was for it off eBay um, so when you think um, what what that represents for what you get I think that's that's pretty good really so um, I'll put a link below to that anyway so I hope that's been useful um, I think if you get one you wouldn't be disappointed um, they seem pretty good to me so uh, there you go the tiny SA thanks for watching if you've liked it please click the thumbs up if you haven't you can click the thumbs down either way it'd be great if you could subscribe and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one